Everybody wants to cross the bridge, but nobody wants to cross a gladiator. Coming up, it's Suspension Bridge. Suspension Bridge. Ten points if you make it across the bridge without being dispatched by the gladiator. First person attempting to cross the bridge tonight is Marissa. Against one of our new gladiators, Glacier. Let's go to John Forsyth now. Challenger, are you ready? Last time Marissa fronted up on the bridge, Flame tried to knock her down, but Marissa proved a great opponent and survived for five. How will she fare tonight against Glacier? Well, Marissa, the teacher, is incredibly strong. We've seen that already as she takes the fight straight up to Glacier. Marissa is doing it all right. She's standing up to her opponent, moving forward, training blows. What a great performance. You can see the force of those blows. They're both putting in some big ones and enough to nearly knock them off their feet. Marissa dropped her grip. Glacier trying to take advantage. Marissa answers with a swipe of her own. What a gutsy performance. There's five points. And from the opposite angle, we see Marissa give Glacier a ripper. Nearly took her off the bridge. Glacier returned the favour and gave Marissa one that nearly took her off the bridge a great game. Marissa, that was just fantastic. Honestly, where do you find that strength? I know it must be an inner strength in me. <laughs> it's just so hard though. She packs a mean hit. <laughs> you had some good tactics there. You kind of came in with a burst and then you, you edged back a little bit. Uh, it's because my stick was nearly falling out of my hand. I had to carry a grab of my stick. Hard to keep a grip of that uh, hammerhead, isn't it? Yeah, it's like really big. <laughs> <laughs> Very long. You have to have the long arms and Glacier, that you have. She did really well. Uh, she worked back and forth and used her combinations quite well. And 30 seconds goes pretty quickly, so yeah, well done. Next up on Suspension Bridge is our challenger, Christine. Facing our gladiator, Flame. Three, two, one. Here we go with Christine's battle on the bridge. The camera in Flame's helmet shows how tough it is. Swaying bridge, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Say no more, Christine, no points. Christine, you desperately needed to keep up with Marissa there with the points. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> You're a bit down. Just a tad. I, uh, I thought that last time I went against uh, Glacier and I kept it up and I thought I could do the same. But I lost my balance and Flame worked on that and, and did the right thing. Yeah. I mean, we've, we've, we've stated this many, many times and I, I guess you're the person best in a position to talk about it here, that balance is a really critical factor in that suspension bridge. It moves a lot. It certainly does. And if you're on a bad angle and she keeps on hamming you in that way, then you're going to go. All right, Christine, bad luck there. No points. So there's going to be a two and a half second difference in the start on the eliminator. So all the best in the next round. Thanks very much. All right, Flame. How did Christine go as a competitor? I mean, obviously the balance was a difficult thing there for her. Balance has got a lot to do with this game, but I went out today thinking I want to put a lot of power into this game, and that's what I did. And way, way too powerful you were, Flame, for Marissa score five, which gives her a two and a half second lead going into the eliminator. The men are set on either side of the bridge, so let's welcome Paul. <laughs> Up against our gladiator, Hammer. Over to you, John Forsyth. Challenger, are you ready? Paul clashed with Predator on the bridge in his heat. No points that night. Tonight, this Queensland dad wants to make his family proud as he runs down the bridge, straight into battle and straight into trouble. The sledgehammer blow takes him off. No points. Paul Stubbsy, is that quick enough? <laughs> I think the idea was to get to the other side or to last the time. What, balance? Oh, he just hit me in the head. <laughs> Big boy, isn't he? I think you just found out why we call him Hammer. Hammer, well done. I think I was just as nervous as you, Paul, I tell you. I've had a 50-50 success rate up there, but bad luck anyway. And let's welcome to the bridge our blue challenger, Peter. With the deciding rematch against Vulcan. Three, two, one. Peter lost to Vulcan in Jewel in the Heats. Let's see how he goes on the bridge. Vulcan cam here, and Peter's actually got Vulcan on the defensive. Look at this, Vulcan with his head down. But whoosh, you're off, Peter. 
No points. Bad luck. The family can't believe it. Vulcan ducked and fainted. Well, I'm not sure what's happening here, but he was low and then he came in with a sidewinder and took Peter off his feet. Peter, you're looking very disappointed. You really wanted those ten points, didn't you? Yeah, I desperately needed them and um, unfortunately I didn't get them. Well, you know, Paul's going into the Eliminator with a five-second head start. What's that going to do to your morale? Well, not a lot. You really just got to concentrate on your own performance and try and forget he's there and going fast you can, hopefully, when you get to the finish line, he's behind you. Both challengers couldn't afford the toll on the bridge tonight. As a consequence, Paul still has a ten-point lead, five seconds in the Eliminator.